Hello viewers, you're welcome to another episode of our reality TV show, Talk Your Mind on PMTV. I'm Nunani Beta, your host, and we have a guest who has something to tell us about the security situation in Ekala and its environment. Don't go away, we'll be back shortly. Hello, sir, you're welcome to today's show. Thank you. Yeah. Please, can you tell us your name? My name is uh, Comrade Fortune C. Oyamichi. I'm a criminologist and security expert. Okay, so following the security situation in Eka land and the moment and it's ever run, what enlighten us about that? Okay, you see that the vigilantes, the anti court and the police, they claim to work together. That is true. But I think that the, the security agents, which are the vigilantes, local vigilantes, are not enlightened fully on the security in the society. You may ask why. Okay. Why? Because some of them are not fully trained, and this is affecting the morals, the agency. In the sense that you can see the criminal, the criminality in the society today, in the incarnation, as an example. I say that the vigilantes and the courts they are not working together in order to make this a crime free in a condition. Okay, okay. So as a, a security strategist, uh, how do you think these uh, problems can be tackled? Yeah, I urge the Nigeria police to at least train these persons before recruiting them as a vigilante. Okay. They should take time twice in a year, three times, four times, as many times they can. They should train them before giving them the arms, give them some orientations which will help for them to be able to interact with the civilians or with the people that are trying to secure. You made mention of uh, orientation and uh, training. What form of training or orientation do you recommend for these uh, people? I think that word recruitment should come into the vigilantes and at the courts. Someone should just not wake up in the morning and say I'm a vigilante. Someone should not just wake up in the morning and say I'm, a, I'm at the courts. Okay. The area command, the DPO should at least, they have chairman of a uh, vigilante, they cannot have chairman of a vigilante in the cast out. They should select maybe six or seven persons from each local government, train them, teach them, tell them what to do and what security is all about. Then those people should be able to go home and give its own people the same orientation. And whenever that those rotation is given to them, they should ensure that they monitor them also. Okay. That they don't do contrary to what they have told them. Because sometimes we just give them the arms, we don't monitor them, we don't tell them anything. What we just know is vigilante is working, vigilante is there. Once the criminal is caught in a particular environment, we'll just call a vigilante. And sometimes you look into the incarnation, you see that it looks, seems like the vigilante is assisting the criminals. Mm. So the police also should monitor the vigilante, because they're civilians also. Okay. They should monitor them, ensure that they're giving proper rotations, mm. ensure that those vigilantes are not working against the government. They're not just working for them to have money. Okay. They're working because it's a free, I call it a free, safe, uh, work in the sense that they are not paid, so they should bring out all their minds to work for the society and make this country a crime free country. Okay, so do you have any security group? It's present uh, for now. I don't have any security group I'm working on, but by God's grace, in next one year, I think of establishing one. Just okay. like God, phone and other things, but by God's grace, I will do that in one year time. All right. So, what's your suggestion? I mean, what further advice do you have for these people? Uh, the only suggestion I have, before they are being given the arms, they should be trained. I remember some time ago, someone killed himself with his own arms, a vigilante, in a condition, yeah, own name. So, the person, the security person, before they be recruited, be given that arms, the DPO, the area command, should take time okay. to screen them. Sometimes. Some of them be on, on that drugs. Mm. Some of them are uh, influence of drug and all that. It's, uh, there are so many things they need to check. Before you give someone arms, you have to check his uh, health to know if that person is on that drug or is all tempered. Someone that is all tempered you can't give him arms. Someone that is influence of drug you can't give him arms. So you have to check all these things before giving them arms, before telling them you are anti court, before telling them you are police, you are vigilante. 
They should check these things, first of all, before recruiting them. So what advice do you have for the public, saying that this whole security thing is a selfless obligation? Uh, if I get your question correctly, you see, this security you're talking about is not all about police, vigilante, anti-court, army, navy, or whatever. You yourself, as a civilian in the country, need to secure yourself. Okay. If you cannot secure yourself, nobody can secure you. So, you have to be careful with whatever you are doing. Wherever you are going to, have what, you have to watch your back. Okay. You don't have to expect that the police will, first of all, come and secure you before you be secured. Secure yourself. If you cannot secure yourself, there's nobody that can secure you. So, as a person, as an airborne digin, as a uh, civilian, don't wait for anybody to secure you before you secure yourself. So, you have to secure yourself first. So this self-security, everything you're talking about, in what way exactly? Like I said just now, you need real signs. Let me make use of Agbo now, road traffic. Okay. But go to Wiki Junction, you see the traffic red, green, and the orange color. Okay. Then you don't need police to come and tell you that green is move, <laughs> red is stop, or uh, blue is get, or uh, the orange color is get ready. Okay. You should know that when it's green, you move. So once you are there, you see red, danger, telling you to stop. Another way is green, telling them to move. You don't run. If they should hit you, you should not blame the uh, security personnel. You should not blame Nigeria. You should not blame the health safety. You should not blame anybody. You should blame yourself because you are unable to secure yourself. So that is it. About this uh, Fulani Hessman in uh, okay. Ekal uh, Bushes at the moment, what do you have to say about about that? Seeing that they are kind of a threat to security uh, issues in the land. Okay, well, the first thing to ask is what is our kings and our leaders doing about it? Okay. If you check about the cows that we are in a uh, condition, half and quarter is for the political leaders, half and quarter is for the uh, kings in our communities. So if really the kings wants the security of the persons, the persons they are leading in the condition, because once everybody in the car dies. The kings will not see who to rule again. Okay. So if they want this issue of the S men should go once and for all, the kings should meet together and have one decision. The decision should be we don't want them or we want them. Okay. We are giving a so bush or we are not giving us that bush. So let the kings in our community, we have over more than 10 uh, kings in this uh, incarnation, okay. they should meet and have one mindset. They should discuss that the S men in the incarnation here. Yeah, they are killing our people. Our people are no longer going to farm. Our people are, are no longer having freedom in their own communities. Okay. So we don't, we don't want them in a condition, or we want them in a condition, they should decide. Okay. And when they, once they decide, those vigilantes they have, they should put them in the bush to drive away those enslavement. Yeah. So we don't expect the president to come. Yeah, that is true, the president has a right to come. But the king in those communities should decide first. Okay. They can secure the environment, notwithstanding, not waiting for anybody. All of them gather if they should sit together and say, we don't want S men in a condition. Okay. Nobody, no, no government can challenge their own decision. So what parental advice should be given to children, that is from parents to the children, about this security matter? Yeah, that's so many parental rules. I remember when I was in Benin, a child told me from the mother, and that's not the first time, it's not the second, it's not the third, it's not the fourth. Okay. I will ask the child, do you know where this thing will take you to? He said, yes, he knew. So we asked the child, where? He said, government house. And, and uh, as of snake and as of rape. And we are, we are like shocked. I will ask the mother and the child, what happened? The child said, whenever Oshimbele is driving vehicle, that the mother used to tell him, tell him that Oshimbele is too from government. So that is the reason why he himself wants to learn it now. That when he grow up, it's perfect. You see, sometimes what we tell our children tests. Okay. If you are talking in things that are not good, those things you want the children captured easily. Mm. Right there, you tell your parent of your child, tell your child, uh, this man is not good, this man stole money, Okawa stole money, this man stole money, government stole money. And the child wants to drive the motor. They want to drive Jeep. They want to build a deep place. And the child has been in, what he says is that he wants to build deep place for the mother. He wants to buy Jeep for the mother. That is why he wants to learn it now when he grows up. Is perfect on it. You can see that that rotation that you have given that child from eight years, 
The that child should grow up with that now. Eventually, nobody can stop that child in the next 10 years okay. if the child cannot be stopped now. Mm. So the parents should be able to get that sign. Mm. Talk to the children. Don't speak evil when your children, the place your children is. Because once you are telling your children, this is not good, this is bad, this is bad, they will know that, yeah, my mom told me that stealing is bad. Okay. But when you are telling your children that the government stole money for them to be rich, the child wants to make that money. Okay. Look at our children now. Our parents encouraging the guests for prostitution, trafficking, human trafficking. But encouraging their children for the common cyber crime now, which is okay. Yahoo Yahoo, popular known like Yahoo Yahoo. And our fellow guests again encouraging the boys again to do the Yahoo Yahoo. Hey, the society today, the encouragement of crime is much. Okay. And for the thing that baffles me is that people who are supposed to fight this crime are the ones committing the crime most especially. Okay. Look at Mark Bona, EFCC. That's that supposed to be the economic uh, crime and financial department, which are supposed to be fighting crime. That the one now that DHS is investigating. Now, anybody that hears this now in the society still feels that they are even more corrupt than people that want to investigate them. So, the, our parents should play the key role. Remember, the Bible says, train up a child when she grow, and when she's old, we not depart from it. So, I think any child that is committing crime, and maybe the way the parents trained him or her. So our parents today should try by all means ensure that your children is given that moral care. Sit with them. Sometimes our parents don't have short time for their children. Okay. They are always off at work. They go to work. They come back late. Sometimes from work, the men will go and flesh with their girlfriend. They will not come back home. Those things are very, very bad. And finally, once your child, once your child gets by high phone, Buy those big. You should be able to call your child, your daughter. How do you get the money? How come you bought it? The money I gave for your school fee is just hundred thousand. It's just fifty thousand, just ten thousand. And this iPhone is more than two hundred thousand. So how come you got it? If you're able to checkmate our children, I think they won't go have that mindset of going to crime or going to arm robbing or whatever. But we don't have the time. Okay. Our parents they encourage crime. They want their children to make it now. Now. I remember it was some months ago, a woman came to the church praying that let them pay my son, let them pay my son. I was like, what are they paying your son for? What business is your son doing? He said, uh, there are people that want to pay money. White people want to pay money to him. Wow. I said, is this any good? He said, no. Uh, so what is your children, what your, your son doing? He said, I don't know, this is the phone I used to press. Oh, wow. I was like, oh, wow. So you, if your son should bring the money, you eat. He said, why not? He will be better house and will buy me too. So you see that kind of mother now, he's encouraging that his son mm. to go into cyber crime, okay. which is very bad. Yeah. So our parents should take that time to educate the children and let the children know that it's a crime. That crime is, is, is a gravity of offense okay. that they should deviate from it. And they should make sure that anybody that commits crime, anybody that steals, we can always go to air. Heaven is free, air fire is free. So our parents should take the first position in their children's life okay all right so um and also to the traditional rulers especially what kind of support do you think should be rendered to these security groups uh, in our book in a calm precisely yeah they are traditional rulers they have tried their best they are trying okay. but when it comes to this local vigilante these our traditional rulers should be able to project them to the government Okay. If they can add, uh, give them some more thing, and uh, equally for the community, the chiefs can also assist them by buying them tells and other things. But before the state government comes in, the traditional rulers need to come in first okay. because you don't expect the governor to know the people very well. You don't expect the area commander is maybe an outside man that comes to grow secure the incarnation to know the capital. Okay. But the traditional rulers are able to project. These people, yeah, we trust them. They can handle security. Okay. There are people that was okay. These people, we know that they won't go into crime. They can help us to fight crime. Mm -hmm. Police work with them. Okay. And the people, the traditional rulers, police will always trust whoever the traditional rulers have brought to them. So the traditional rulers should try by all means help the police to police the vigilantes. Okay. They should help them because police are in the office. And the vigilantes are people that speak the same language with the traditional ruler. Mm. 
that Shajar can also interact with them easily, friendly. So Shajar should be the ones to police those villages. Well, lastly, is there anyone or any group of uh, persons you would like to appreciate? Yeah, firstly, I would love to appreciate His Excellency, the President of Nigeria, Mwamedu uh, Buari, who have tried by all means to fight corruption in our society, our, in country, our country, Nigeria. Also, our Governor, State of the Fine Atu Okowa, who have supported the Nigeria Police, the Commission of Police, the Area Commands, and other security personnel, road safety, they are working very well. I want to appreciate again the counties, the Kassabs, local government chairman, they are working also, but they should put more effort. That's what I can tell them. Okay, so thank you very much, sir, thank for you. your time and uh, for having you here in our studio. Thank you very much. Viewers, I hope you enjoyed this episode of our talk show program with Comrade Fortune Oyamechi, a security expert who has told us about the security situation in Ekalan and East Evaron. For more updates, please subscribe to PMTV Nigeria on our YouTube channel and like our Facebook page. I remain your host, Inam the Better. Until next time, stay safe and bye for now. Hey everybody, keep watching PMTV. I'm giving a shout out to PMTV, people's mind. Yo guys, it's Emeka from Amsterdam, Holland. Go and check PMTV. Hey guys, keep watching PMTV Nigeria. Nigerians, wherever you are, whether you're in Nugu, Lagos, Abuja, keep on watching People's Mind Television, PMTV.